Hey guys, this is Dr. Sean over at Natural Body Works, and today we're going to work on knee pain and knee problems for with this acupuncture pen. But we're not just going to use the acupuncture pen, we're going to use it also as a trigger point uh, tool to get into some of those deeper muscles. And I'll show you what those are real quick, but first let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit that like button down at the bottom while I'm doing this. You can subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, because that would be the cool thing to do to see more of these videos. And we're going to go over just a couple... Uh, little things get that thing going there we go we always put in new batteries because or not new batteries but at least i take the battery out and put it back in because this thing is a big problem so if you have knee swelling or knee pain it can be um, also related to the ankle or the hip or the low back so we're gonna have to work work on some of those too and i'll show you an extra point for that we're gonna talk about the third and fourth lumbar vertebra down the bottom of the spine and those ones um, a lot of connections for the nerves including the sciatic nerve which comes around even this way and so or, sorry around this way and, and some of the other nerves from the back <clears throat> come around to the front so what we'd like to do is basically i'm just going to outline real quick the kneecap kneecaps like this and this is our main fella other bones in here are going to be the tibia which is down here and the fibula which is out here and this is the uh, uh femur so we got femur, all these guys through here. So we're going to go over some basic points. And these are the same points that are used in prolotherapy. And a lot of times the um, injections that you would get, the peri they're called periarticular injections that go around the knee to get um, uh, uh, swelling down for you know, prolotherapy, steroid injections, that kind of thing. So let's get going. Um, <clears throat> so there's a few points here. We have... These two guys right here, right in the middle of the kneecap, that's actually called uh, calves nose, or this is called the medial eye of the, the knee, and this is the lateral eye, this is the lateral side, the medial side. And what we'll do is we're gonna hold those there and get that in there, use this, this end, I push in and try to get it to where I can feel the pulse. I feel it at about seven. Now I'm not using gel. You don't have to use gel. You really don't. Um, if you want to, you do get a better connection, but I don't need it because I can feel it and it goes all the way around here and down through here. You're going to have to dig around for it. You may have to go out or in and do the same thing on the other side. You're going to hold them deeply for about 10, whew, for about 10 seconds. Then we'll move on to the other points. So there we go. Xi'an is the, this section here. This is just, these are extra points that call the calves nose because the calves nose would look like, like there's a calves nose like that, right? Nose would look like something like that, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> so let's go on to the next one. Next one here at the top of the knee is heating or heading right at the top of the kneecap. This one, again, tool round. I can feel the kneecap. There's the edge of it right here. And I'm, my knee's slightly bent. That's always a better thing, too, if you get a slightly bent knee so you can measure things a little better. Let's work our way up. We're going to have other points up through this area. Nothing through here. Now, the other points I want you to show you is um, spleen 9 and gallbladder 34. So spleen 9 and gallbladder 34. As you go put your palm right on top of your knee and where your finger ends and where your pinky ends those are those two points so right in through here and you're gonna have to dig around for oh man this is spleen point and you'll feel it maybe even in the calf which i do and i'm at seven and maybe even on the side or maybe up in the knee i feel a little bit in the knee so this would help with some inflammation or swelling of the knee dig around hunt for the point that's right for you it may feel really tender if it's really tender i'll use the other side and just kind of hold okay do a little bit of a hold on this sucker and uh, hold it for about 10 seconds on the opposite side. There's no charge coming through here, but I just want to have a big, a broader uh, working surface. But we can get in here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You can really feel that through there. And then we have on this side, gallbladder 34. So gallbladder 34, palm is on top of the, ah, palm, palm's on top of the kneecap and it's where the pinky lands, right in between the fibula and the tibia right through here. There's a little gully in there, and you should feel that. Dig around, you can find it again. I'm still at seven. I feel it all the way up and through here. It's really good. And the other ones we're gonna do, and again, hold them for about 10 seconds, let them go, 10 seconds, and then let them go. You can also, like I said, use this edge to kind of dig in there and feel that thing loosen up. There's a lot of muscle, and these are deeper points 
they're really deep points and they hold a lot of stagnation and stuff like that. So we want to have to uh, work on those. Now you can also do stomach 36, really going straight down on the edge here, right off the, uh, actually it's like three inches down, right four inches down from the, the end of the knee, which is going to be right, ah, right here. Measure the fours. Remember that's four inches right there. Uh, and uh, that's one inch on me, one inch on you. Four inches down, straight off the, the tibial ridge here, into here, and as you move your foot back, you'll feel this little muscle bump into you. That's that point right there. It's a really powerful point. It's also called uh, three miles more. Uh, you walk three more miles if you really push this one. Oh man, all the way down through there. And these all are the lower ones for the knee inflammation. Now above the knee, <coughs> we have um, oh, we also have gallbladder 34, gallbladder 33 right up through here. Again, do same kind of idea. Hand would go on top and where your fingers would end would give you these next two points. Spleen 10 and gallbladder 33. Spleen 10 is in through here. You're going to find it really good through this section of the knee. Digging around, searching for it. Hold for 10 seconds. I have mine at 7. I have no lotion. You don't need lotion if you want lotion. It's totally up to you. The directions say to use it, but I don't like it because it makes my leg wet and gooey, and I don't like that. And I get—I have good enough hydration, and my hands are nice and um, hydrated and everything, and we're good to go. Feel it all the way through here. It's really good. You can even sometimes feel it in the next point, which is important. Up through this section. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. 33. Now these back points, remember, these are almost identical used, used for um, uh, uh, steroid injections, uh, even some of the, the newfangled stuff, the, uh, uh, what's it called though, stem cells are used also in these areas too. Now you can go in the joint itself. Now remember in this side we have the medial meniscus and we have the lateral meniscus which is deep in there. We also have other things which is the lateral collateral ligament which goes this way, the medial collateral ligament which goes this way, and then you have inside there's two other ligaments called the ACL and the PCL. And those are, we can't get to with this kind of stuff but we can kind of work through these working around the kneecap. You will find areas where you can feel it right there. This is not a point, but it's a good one to try to get into, exploring around. Now also we can use this other end here, we don't even have to have this on. We can use this as a trigger point. You find these little points up and through here where it's really, really tight. You can hold that thing, get it to feeling at about 8 out of 10 pain and hold it for about 30 seconds and it should drop down to about half, which would be about four out of 10 in the pain scale, right? And then you're done with that point. So we can go in through these. In through here we have um, the sartorius muscle comes across this way and we have the uh, vastus lateralis on this side, vastus medialis and the rectus femoris is in through here. So these ones we can work on, we can just kind of follow them up through here. Many times we'll find in these areas, we'll find lots of Lots of cool points where we can maybe even get, uh, I don't really feel any twitches. I can feel twitches through there. Put it at nine. Yeah, I feel it down through here. So this is good. We can get through these. We're not gonna see much twitching on these guys just because working on these, just checking. Now, alternate point for all of this stuff is right in the middle in the back of the kneecap. We're right straight back all the way through. And what I do is I just set this thing underneath and kind of push it up into, and I feel it all the way down through the bottom of the foot. Now remember, we're gonna mostly feel these. Oh, there we go. There you go, look at that, right there. This is right on that point. So right on that, ah. There we go. You can see a good twitch right there. From here, straight back behind the knee, a little bit more on the outside actually, um, we can feel and see that twitching right there. That's a good one. It'll open up the calf. There we go. Good, good, good. There we are. So that's the points for the knee. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and uh, subscribe for more. Uh, go get your pen by, by hitting the link, um, whatever, down below on the side there. and. Uh, Go to the blog if you want to see the points and some research that was done on knee pain and acupuncture points and acupressure stuff like that. 
And uh, you know, you can also do things like uh, work on the low back, make sure that that's stretched out, work on the ankle, make sure that that's stretched out well. If it's not, go get an adjustment by a chiropractor um, or find someone who can uh, help you with that kind of stuff. Massage is always a good thing too. Stretching is very good for the knee, especially stretching of the quad. That's this stuff through here, these four muscles, which is the rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis and uh, uh, vastus intermedius, which is underneath. It's a doozy for those kind of things. And then on the back, to the hamstrings, which is your semimembranosus, tendinosus, and your uh, bicep femoris. So those muscles back there are very important to keep this moving well. Now this thing is only held together really by the ligaments, and those don't really contract much. They can be sprained, which is a little tiny tear, but it's the muscles that will contract around it and cause trouble. So let's keep those loosened up and keep the range of motion going well in those, and then you won't develop arthritis. If you develop arthritis, osteoarthritis or whatever, uh, this pen actually can help you. Also getting just Regular traditional acupuncture with needles is uh, even better. It takes a little bit uh, longer time, but it's longer lasting. And uh, just go from there. So anyway, keep your stretches, uh, do your things, and uh, subscribe, like, comment, tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't. Um, there we go. Uh, I'll post more on other problems. We're gonna do thigh, we're gonna do hip, we're gonna do ankle, we're gonna do wrist, elbow, shoulder, uh, chest pain, all kinds of different things, TMJ, headaches, and all these kind of things. So, this is Dr. Sean over at Natural Body Works. Um, bye.